Welcome back to the baby. Welcome back to the basement yard. The red boys today, redding it up. And yeah, well, it's maroon. It's like a no. That's that's more like a mauve. It's a maroon. It, no, maroon is deeper and bloodier. That's a mauve, I would say. What do you know about blood? I know. I would say I know way more about blood than you do. You yeah. recently didn't know that. You know more about placenta. I, I know more about because blood. of babies. Yeah, I would say, but even that bare bare minimum right there. You don't? Did you ever touch the sack of placenta? No, they like. Can you? I mean, I, maybe if you ask, but I don't think so because I think they they need it sterile so they can like do whatever they do with it because they, they take it. It's like theirs unless you sign like you get. Hey, welcome back to the basement. Wait, hold on. They rob your placenta? Uh, unless you, like, you have to, like, sign, like, paperwork and stuff for... If the you... fuck? It's my placenta. Well, well, I gotta sign. No, you gotta no, sign. Not yours. Physically not yours. I'm not... I'm saying you, me. Oh, no, yeah. I think... I, 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 I think it's a big topic of contention that's, like, kind of nuts that the hospital will take ownership or whatever facility you give birth in of your fucking placenta. Nah, I'll beat the shit out of a dog. Your baby sack. Yeah, I don't to call it that. You, uh, I know there are people, and I might know someone that has done this. I don't want to speak out of line because I'm I'm starting to not do that today. Oh, okay. Today yeah, is no. the day I start stop speaking yeah, exactly. out of line. You never speak out of line. You, You're always in line. You can freeze dry it and put it in like encapsulize it in pills. I wish you didn't say. I wish you didn't start this. You could, yeah, and you could like pop. You can pop them like fucking like ultra nutrient rich fucking like multivitamins is it but is there science behind that like is it good or am i just eating some blood no the placenta is not just blood joey it's, i know it's like it's like a nutrient healthy dense, blood it's like nutrient dense basically organ your vitamin body. blood yeah, yeah kinda exactly kinda but like it's like no kinda no it's, no no kinda no full kinda kind of and what you can do is you can re-ingest it i know someone that ate the placenta but i'm ill yeah, they like fucking chopped it up and like made like tacos with it. All right, now I'm not. Those, that's right? not a joke. A white person? Yeah, very white. Wow. Very white. I know them. You've met them, definitely. Oh. You've definitely met them, but I wouldn't say know them. I have a guess. Go ahead. I'm not gonna. Oh. Whisper it. Into the microphone. What are you doing? <laughs> into these ultra powerful. Into the amplified. Into the ultra powerful microphones. All right, the have. ultra powerful. This isn't one of your comic books. Uh, today and. <laughs> fucking kid. What? Why did you have to do that? Why did you have to fucking shoot that, huh? <laughs> Why did you do that? <laughs> All right, but look, before we get to other stuff, I had posed a question for you before the episode started to record as we were talking. Being bros. Yeah. Boys being boys and talking about boy butts. Our boy butt. Our butts. I, I got to specify. Frankie, <laughs> you're not good at this, are you? Like trying to explain something clearly. Ah ha ha. That's not good. <laughs> All right. Serious question. Because the world needs to see your answer. Yeah. If you were asked yeah. by a romantic partner, someone that you were romantically with, that's what that's <laughs> if they yeah. said, I want you to use one of these ultra high powered <laughs> They're back, bitch. Oh ultra ultra oh. mega on another <laughs> level power. That's what are you talking about? Uh camera that you have. Because you have some like 4K fucking like DVR, PPR. There's a bunch of different letters that I don't understand on these cameras. Okay. And they said, sit spread eagle. How do you sit, spread eagle? You sit on your butt and you spread your legs. Oh. Yeah. And show, like, spread your butt show cheeks. Show your hole. Show your bum cum. Yeah. <laughs> would you do it? No. No pictures? No pictures. None at all? No. I know. I would not have video or you wouldn't want that, evidence. It would be like, you know, <laughs> what's that movie where, like, they take a picture of someone and they die in a week? It would be like a cursed image. <laughs> oh, wasn't it like The Ring? Uh, that was the, when they watched yeah, the, the, the videotape. That's when they watch a video. Yeah, tape. but in the photos, their faces were all smushed. No, there's other. Yes, yes, but there's other ones regardless. But that would be a cursed image of your asshole. Yeah, it wouldn't be like the coolest picture I've ever taken. Have you ever, honestly, have you ever taken a picture of your asshole? No, never. No, I've only really seen it like three times in my life. Oh, okay. Have you seen yours? Yeah. You, well, I forced you to look at you it. You forced once. me in an episode of the Basement Yard where I was <laughs> yeah. a guest for you and Danny. Yeah. Uh, I will. 
clarify, definitely very forceful. It's hard to look at your own hole. No, nah, you just get a mirror and you just yeah, bend but, over and you, there you go. I know, but like, the fuck? Like how you need a, like a big mirror. Well, women do that when they have to see their film. Th- yeah, but you just need a hand mirror for that. Or you can sit in front of a big mirror too. You can use a hand mirror for seeing your own asshole. Can I? I guess so, yeah. I don't want to. I don't want to either. Yeah. Um, but then the next question, the next part of the question was, mm-hmm. if this person you were romantically, if they <laughs> asked, they said like, listen, yeah, I don't want to touch it. Yeah. I don't want anything to do with it. Right. I just want to see you spread your butt cheeks for me. Yeah. And you said. And I said that it would depend. I mean, it would No, depend. no, no. That's not what you said. <laughs> you jumped right in. You fucking dove head I first. Said, yeah, I said, yeah. Because I'd you be said, like. You said, yeah. Well, well, I don't know if that I... No, you, <laughs> yeah, you high-pitched it. You did, went, yeah. Uh, did I? Yeah. All right. Well, I was just feeling it in the moment then. But I I would want to know, like, what is it about this? So you would have questions before or after they stared into Sauron. <laughs> but, like, if they enjoyed it... Yeah, like, clearly they're enjoy. If they're, like, it's, it's like sexy time. Yeah, I, right. But I wouldn't be able to, like, do it for too long. What's too, what's, give me, honestly, give me, show me your hands on what's too long. It's more of like a feeling, like however long it takes you to kill an ant with a magnifying glass is probably too long. I've never done that. Have you? I have. Yeah. Murder. I've also killed slugs with salt. Double murder. Yeah. I would definitely say no across the board. Like there's no like acceptable amount of like time. No? No, no way. What if you really gave it a good scrub? It doesn't matter, dude. Good scrub. What when a mean? boat's in the ocean and it comes out, you could scrub the barnacles off it all you want. Still looks like shit. No, uh, you could re... What's that called? Revitalize it? Yeah, you need to paint it and bleach it and power wash it and shit. I don't got the mechanics power. or the equipment. <laughs> power wash it. <laughs> I don't have the no, mecha- you can't, dude. I don't listen. have the mechanics or the equipment to get would my you, asshole up with you, power washing. Would you nair your ass... Have. Won't do it again. Have you? Uh, uh, video, Joey, on the Patreon. Oh, no. Nair. Nair. N- Nair is wax, right? No. Oh, what is I it? I think it's like a cream. Oh. You never... I'm not worried about the hair. I'm worried about just, like, the Badlands. You know what I'm saying? So then get all that out. You know, like, when in, like, Lion King, when they go into, Have like... Have you washed your butt? Like, I all, just, Every like, day. Yeah, not so... Every day, multiple times. <laughs> yeah, multiple times. I wash my butt twice in the shower. What do you mean? I use once. The first time I use a dial bar of soap to really get it clean. Oh, you hold a bar and you go like that. Yeah. I, well, I do. I, I, it's a transfer technique because it's a shared bar. I don't want to wipe my asshole with a bar and then have my wife wipe hers. Right. Uh, but I lather here very hard. Your stomach. Very, very hard. So you're a tummy lather guy. I'm a tummy lather guy. And then I use the other hand to take the lather, to take the soap, and then I get back there. And you give it the old credit card. And I give it I give it the credit card. Yeah. And then I come up the front and Whoa. I go I go back and I fucking start the engine. Oh, you do like a Marilyn I, Monroe. I pull the lawnmower. Got it. You know what I'm saying? Oh, so you're pulling it all out from the front. And, and the back. I, I I get in the back. Yeah. You know, it's mowing the lawn twice. You go in a different pattern. You I get got in the it. back and then you go in the front and you fucking yeah, are you doing it that vigorously? I'm worried pretty, about pretty like, hard, yeah, dude. I gotta admit, your gonads, dude. I gotta admit that actually just hurt my balls right there. And you're wearing jeans. Doesn't matter though, because they are. Guess what? Useless now. Right. Vasectomy. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, dude. I, I mean, I, I don't. I don't have the ability to. To clean my asshole to the point where I'm like, yeah, now the world can see this. I think you can, though. No, but listen to me. You use your hand, though, right? You I do use my hand regardless. You don't use it like a rag? No. Then I have to wash this rag every single time I shower. And you guys got rags on display and fucking readily available? What about like a loofah? You know that's a vegetable? Loofah? That's a plant, dude. What's a plant? A loofah is a plant. Like a separate name? Or- it's, it is a plant. What you use with the stick on it, that the thing that looks like it would be like, you know, like yeah. a devil's butthole, that is a plant. Is it? Yes. I thought it was just like... Made? Some of them. Yeah. But no, like it's like a legit plant. And it's like, I've seen, you can like cut the ends off, you dump the seeds out, and it's a plant. And you got a loofah. 
Isn't that weird? I don't know that you're right. Watch me be right all over this studio today. <laughs> I'm very right. Like, I, maybe someone's made a loofah. No, they, like, I believe it is a loofah plant. And now we're back to I believe. So I, you say <laughs> things with such conviction, and then you go to right to loofah, I believe. Loofah is a vegetable. Yeah. Is it? Yes, dude. Lufa, spelled L-U-F-F-A, is a genus of tropical and subtropical vines in the pumpkin, squash, and gourd family. I hate that family, by the way. I love that family, dude. Really? A very fun family. Okay. Gourds, dude? Gourds the, are the ugliest thing on the planet. Yes, but they're cool. They're decorative. They have cool colors. They have cool shapes. I do have a gourd. I have a but couple. But they look like a witch's nose. I do like that when they're all bumpy and gross and diseased. I want to cut off the bumps. Bro, one time, I, it's funny that you brought that up. I was talking to my father-in-law yesterday, and he was like, yeah, I cut open a gourd once, and they're so hard to cut open, I had to use a crowbar. <laughs> How do you cut something open with a crowbar? Well, he had to cut it, and then to open it. Oh, he had to crank it open? Crowbar it out, Jesus. yeah. He's also in his 70s, so it could be... Yeah, it could be a could lot be that, easier Could for be that osteoporosis. Else. Could be that, yeah. You know. His bones are brittle. Yeah, well... It's uh, like Swiss cheese. He's a strong man. Right. Actually grew up literally on this block. Strange, huh? Um, what does that mean? Right here. Like, grew up right here. He grew up... Like, really? Oh, yeah, right. Literally, literally, right here. Weird. <laughs> here. <laughs> um, but... So, to come full circle, to come again, like, yeah, come again, full circle. When did you come the first time? <laughs> yeah, I'm not telling you. <laughs> so, I don't want to touch it. Yeah, I'm the girl that you're canoodling, man. You know. Oh, we're back to that. Yes, I don't want to touch it. I just want to see it. Right. You're doing it. Eventually. Oh, you you shouldn't. Why? You have a responsibility. <laughs> To, like, hide the world from certain horrors. And I can almost guarantee, from someone that has seen your ass... I don't think that it's, like, that crazy. But, but the, you, you ever hear this... Just a little BH. You ever, you ever hear the saying, give an inch, take a mile? Yeah. You give your inch to this poor woman. <laughs> and what do you think is going to happen? She's going to She's going to be like, it. oh, the next time it's okay. She gets a little closer. The next time it's like, I'm going to blow air on it. And then it's, I'm going to blow on air on I'm it. I'm going to spit on it. And then it's like, I'm going to, and then eventually it becomes her just like full on finger fucking you in the butthole. <laughs> you're cool with that? I don't No, I'm not. I don't want to be finger banged. But you, you're cool with her just staring at it. She's window shopping your asshole. Well, <laughs> I'm not saying that like, I'm like I said, I'm not cool with it being a staring contest. Who blinks first? Well, <laughs> you know, I think she'd lose that one unless you're a puckery boy. Well, I could get shy and be like, no. Imagine you farted. What does a butthole look like if it farts? Like I think that? it's I think it's just like Good. That was the whole thing? Yeah, that was the whole thing. Awesome. <laughs> um <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I mean I, I mean I don't know. This I would I'd be like if you want to right, look at you look at it real quick, I don't know. And then you're cool? Yeah, I mean, I'd be like, is that is it? That was cool. How was that? And then it's like, well, no. Like, what else do you... Are, well, I'd be I... like, look, you're not going to, you know, suddenly put on a big boy with balls and, like, go no, to No, no, no. Listen, you, you got to work yourself up to an eight-inch big boy with balls. I'm not working up to that. You it's can. not happening. I'm saying, like, that. that is a possibility. It's not a possibility. No, it, it, free will. it's definitely... <laughs> yes, but... You're in a very compromised state. If you if if this if you already spread your cheeks for this person, right? Maybe maybe you nah. let them. You you know you they. You just got to be quick and get out of there before someone tries to, you know, really make it happen. What are we talking about? Buttholes. Got it. But big buttholes, dude. But big buttholes, <laughs> dude. <laughs> you were talking about big buttholes. You know dude. what's funny? Is speaking of buttholes, you see that our boy. <laughs> What? Speaking of buttholes, go ahead. You see our boy Bad Baboony is Baboonie? in the news again. For what? The internet is tearing this boy apart. This Why? bunny apart. Really? Yeah. Benito is under fire. Don't call him that. I'm gonna call him Benito. Okay. You remember you remember that? Puerto Rico? Good time. Was that a question? I thought it was rhetorical. <laughs> I thought you were gonna keep going. Why is Bad Bunny in the news? So 
He has a song which I'm gonna have to pull it up because you know me. I don't know any Baboni songs except right. for Le Chopolo Papi. <laughs> I remember that one. Yeah. Um, but um, so there is a song of his where it's on his latest album, which I'm not gonna read it. I want you to read it. Read what? The name of the album. See that word right there? Mm. No. Not Isabelo. Yes, and then there's. Come on, give it to me. Okay, va a pasar mañana. There you go. All right, Joey. Um, and he has a song called Vaticano. Okay. And in the song, he he talks about having sex with uh, his current his current boo thing, Kendall Jenner, which we believe to be Kendall Jenner. Right. Why That's, is that a big deal? Can't fucking Kendall Jenner is awesome. Is it? it uh, yeah, she's a pretty girl. Oh, I mean, you said that as if it's something you've done before. No, I'm saying, like, it's cool. Like, you have sex with your hot girlfriend. Cool. Well, uh, he has some lyrics in there, and the lyrics go, Tres del, tres delo en el toto en el culo el pinky. Las moña baileta como tinky winky. Wait, hold on. Did he put his pinky in her asshole? Culo? Can, let me, let me, I'm going to get you there, babe. Don't worry, okay? okay. Una nalga y la dejo como pe... Por, eh. <laughs> Le doy por donde hace pipi y por donde hace pupu. Pipi pupu. <laughs> I caught a pipi pupu in there. I'm All not right, sure. now listen. Use your information. Use your Spanish classes that you failed. I think he, he said times. that he put his pinky so in her asshole. Tra Trace Deo and el toto and el culo el pinky. Three days I fucked her ass with my pinky. Okay, close. Three fingers in her. Three fingers in her ass? No, dude. In her puss? Wait, he said three fingers in her puss? In her This is way different than I <laughs> thought it was going to be. He made a song where he talks about putting three fingers in Kendall Jenner's can, 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 can you? Can you listen? It's all you have to do here. I'm So this is a podcast, <laughs> and people commentate, and we go back and forth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So three in the, in the front. In her butt, the pinky. Oh, two in... What, three in the pink. They must do a different shit in Puerto Rico. Because we do two in the pink, one in the stink. <laughs> this is, I mean, this, that makes sense. There's four. No, you, you got to... I know. You got to brace I know. Well, one. you know Puerto Rico. You ever put your pink... Never mind. Don't. Um, <laughs> the buds are purple like Tinky Winky. Huh? What? What, she got hemorrhoids? <laughs> the fuck, dude? What the fuck? Kendall Jenner's got hemorrhoids, dude? They're purple? The buds are purple? Like Tinky Winky. The Who's Tinky Winky? You don't remember the fucking Teletubbies, my guy? Oh, I never watched an episode of that. No? It was, the, it was a little the, after our time. So she's got purple hemorrhoids, and he's like, fucking... That's crazy, dude. Uh, according to Balboni. Yeah. Good uh, for him. A slap on her butt, and I leave her like Poe. Who's Poe? Another one of the Teletubbies, the red one. Nice. Kind of cool wordplay here. Yeah, slap her ass. Hey, I give it to her where she pees and she poops. <laughs> he said that? Yeah, dude. And the translated version of it. He's fucking Kendall Jenner in her bunghole. Well, no, that the pinky. I don't know if he... No, he just said where she poops, dude. Where she poop. poop. Are, he's giving it to her. He's giving her the pinky, dude. No, I think he's giving her... I don't know about all Where that. She pees. Either way, strange that you're talking about your girlfriend. That's kind of wild. In this, this I is thought wild. he was going to say, like, I was hitting it on a vacation or something. Like, yeah, obviously, like, people have yeah, sex. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you know, uh, sex on a yacht. Cool. We get it. Yeah. But, like, he's sitting here telling her, like, yo, tres en el pinky, uno en el tinky. Yeah, like, that's fucking <laughs> crazy, dude. <laughs> you know? But the and internet. Like, yo, I fuck her where she shits. That's such a weird way to say <laughs> that. <laughs> You know, like <laughs> the internet is torturing him because he's like, "Oh, Bad Bunny thinks that she pees out of her vagina." Well, technically, N no, she doesn't. Well, I mean, it's like no, 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 no. Watch, no, she doesn't. Where does she pee? Out of the other hole, out of the pee hole. But I know, but that's part of the the whole vagina. No, it's not, Joey. Vagi the vagina. Vagi it's a part of the. It's it's like it's a different it's a different building on campus. You know what I'm saying? But the vagina. One's the rec center. One is a residence hall. One's an academic. And the hall. vagina is the campus. N but the but no, the vagina is the is the dining hall. No. Yes, dude. No. The trash compactor is where the pee is coming from. No. Yes. <laughs> I'm telling you. No. The whole thing is called like the pubic area. I know that. Well. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why that was my reaction. 
But I, I, uh, this is kind of crazy that like, to my understanding, the Kardashians are very like <laughs> on top of their image and like how they're portrayed by their significant others in the media. Yeah. Now you're getting fucked in. Now bad shit. bunny is just like, he's like, just, if you poop out of it, I'm plugging it. Yeah. Well, that's Crazy. a weird way to put that's that. What, that's what he said. It's just like, I'm surprised that like they're okay. Or maybe they're not okay with it. I'm not I don't sure. Know, dude. Like Chris is normally on top of this stuff. Like yeah. I wouldn't want. That's crazy. Isn't that weird? Like, would you serious question? You don't have any children. You're alone. Miserable. <laughs> no. Sad. Cold. <laughs> no. Say you have a daughter mm -hmm. and you find out her boyfriend is on a fucking rap album that right. is viewed by millions the entire of entire world. I would say. Millions yeah. of people. Yeah. Basically the whole Spanish speaking world. Right. And even more than that because of people that listen to it in English. Yeah. And you hear that like this guy is like, oh, I, I full on put my digits in your daughter's widget. Yeah. Like. I mean, like, you can safely assume that, but I don't want to, like... Well, listen, as a parent, I'm sure there is a safe... There's an assumption and a, and a hope that your child is being... That is in a, 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 a consensual, sexual, healthy relationship. <laughs> Look at this fucking... This is for White <laughs> Frank talking here. He's talking the way he's talking. Like, White Frank well, talking. Well, sometimes no, I, I, I think I, that you, daughters... I, you, yo, I'm saying, like, you hope that, like, they're in a relationship where it's, like, healthy for them, but, like... At this point in time, some people love getting slammed in the poop shoot. Yeah, but you don't need to be talking about it. I agree. Like, you know? I don't want to know if you get poop shooted. You know, shot you're, in your poop. You're next, dude. What? <laughs> I'm not getting shot you're in the next. poop. You're letting them. You're letting them view the Mona Lisa. No. It's only a matter of time before they spaghetti all over your butthole. <laughs> you know, they're throwing fucking cans of spaghetti on your asshole. I thought it was cake. Cake, spaghetti, whatever. No, those are not whatever. Those are different things. <laughs> They're ingestible foods, Joey. What would you rather? What would you rather? What would you rather? Yeah. What would you rather get pelted at your asshole? A cake. Oh, really? I kind of like spaghetti, dude. Why? Cake is like give or take. You know, like a good cake is like few and far between. But it's hard to fuck up spaghetti. We have ads. <laughs> It's hard to fuck up spaghetti. How how do we still have ads? I don't know, I, I can tell you. But anyway, BetterHelp uh, is <laughs> BetterHelp is the sponsor of this podcast. It's sponsored this podcast. Uh, but BetterHelp is great. It's online therapy. Uh, you guys know me. I'm a big uh, proponent uh, of therapy. I think that it is uh, very helpful. I've been in therapy for years now. And uh, if you want to get into therapy, BetterHelp is a great way to do it because it's all online. Uh, it's a more affordable than in-person therapy, which can be very expensive, especially if you don't have the right insurance. Um, so on top of it being, you know, more affordable um, than in-person therapy and also being, uh, you know, customizable in a way. You can co you can talk in the way that you want to and, you know, at whatever frequency, like if you want to do it biweekly or you want to do it once a week or something like that, you can set it all. It's all customizable. Um uh, on top of that, you can save 10% off your first month. If you go to betterhelp.com slash basement yard, uh, spelled B E T T E R H E L P.com slash basement yard, you will get 10% off of your first month. So if you were thinking about uh, starting therapy, here's your sign. Jump all over this opportunity. Betterhelp.com slash basement yard. And next year we have. Stitch Fix. Uh, Stitch Fix is the easiest way to get clothes that fit you without having to endlessly scroll through options. Uh, you know, you go on through their site, you just fill out a style quiz, and they'll just start pulling things uh, that, that they think you'll like um, from o like over a thousand brands that you know and love. Uh, also very inclusive with size. They have, it's from uh, extra small to 3XL, um, and they'll find the perfect fit for you. So it's nice. You know, you have like all your own personal stylist online, you know, looking for stuff that they think that you'll like and pulling them and making sure, you know, you have a nice little wardrobe and it's always uh, updating and whatever it is, you know. So right now Stitch Fix is offering our listeners $20 off of their first fix at stitchfix.com slash basement. Uh, that is stitchfix.com slash basement for $20 off today, spelled S-T-I-T-C-H-F-I-X.com slash basement. So get to it, folks. You know what else you can get to? Patreon.com slash the basement yard, folks. 
Um, I'm not going to put this lightly. We've got some fucking heat and bangerangs coming your way on Patreon.com. <laughs> to thank you guys for getting us over 26,000 patrons, we got some exclusive stuff just for our patrons coming out. And listen, uh, 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 so go to Patreon.com slash The Base Vineyard and help us continue to grow. We really appreciate it. We're very appreciative, grateful, thankful for all the growth and success we've had on there. But we want to keep going to the top, baby. So we're going to continue to try to give you guys more stuff to entice you, to drag your little feet over to patreon.com slash the basement yard. And that first tier, well, listen, you get some stuff. You get these weekly episodes one week in advance. So you get to view all the nastiness, goodness, tinky winky, pinky po, whatever, <laughs> one week before everybody else. And then that next week, and I mean next tier. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you get exclusive episodes every <laughs> single Friday and exclusive content that nobody else gets to view except for your sweet little cute innocent eyes that now have to view Joe and I more often. Mondays, Basement Yard. Fridays, exclusive Patreon episodes. So go check it out. Patreon.com slash the Basement Yard. Keep your eyes peeled, folks. You're not going to want to miss what we got coming out. Joey. Back to you. Mm, don't do that. Didn't like it, right? I hated it. It honestly yeah. hurt. It hurt it my hurt shoulder. your body? It did, a little bit, yeah. <laughs> shoulder, elbow, pretty much everything from here down. I know what an arm is. Just say arm. Okay, but there's more. Do you consider your fingers a part of your arm? That's a great question. Actually. Isn't it? No, I don't. I don't either. The I, arm stops at the wrist. The arm stops at the wrist. Then you have your hand, which is its own entity. Is it an arm? Fingers are part of the hand. Hand is not part of the arm. Like if you lost your hand, some, no one would go, you lost your arm. They lost part of their arm. No, they, they, no one would say that. They'd say you lost your hand. They would say, yeah, I would say but that. But then if you lost like here, like half of your forearm, they'd be like, you lost your arm. Yeah, part of your arm. Yeah. If you had to get rid of three digits right now, what fingers or toes, which ones you getting rid of? Oh, can I mix and match? Yeah, of course. Uh, you could also take like half from one, half from another. Um, hmm. I'd probably get rid of like probably one of my ring fingers because like, I mean, hopefully not the one that would house a ring one so day. Whatever. I'll, the other one then I'll cut this one off. Cause like, I don't think you really need that. I could do without that. Yeah, you could do it. So without take toes, that toes like oh yeah, all could, of the you, middle. Honestly, ones I take don't use. take all except for the outside too that like are good with balance. You know, right? Yeah, exactly. I'm good. Yeah, I I don't care much about my toes. Yeah, not really. Uh, before we get into another story that I know that we have lined up, have you saw that flag football is coming to the Olympics? Is it really? Yeah. So flag football is coming to the Olympics. I have a serious serious question for you. Do you think this is no? A oh, what what what? I thought you were going to ask me if I was going to, like, try out or No, something. my that leads into my question. Do you think this is a good idea or awful idea? Um, why wouldn't they just make it football? Probably because of the violence and the aggression and the risk for injury. I mean, I guess. I think, listen, all about— it's cool. I want to see some Italian guys out there running around catching balls. First of all, is anyone beating a good old United Shesh? I don't think so, dude. No shot, dude. Yeah. No shot. Second of all, like Tyreek Hill joins the Olympics for flag football. Like, what's going to happen, bro? It, uh, it's, he it's, barely tackles. And not even honestly, grab a little flag off uh, his waist? It's not happening. Honestly, like, forget even, like, offensive key players. Like, if you just put, like, uh, you know, like Tyreek Hill, Sauce Gardner, you know, like just defensive players in there, like just D-backs who have decent yeah. hands. There's no way that anyone is gonna win ever. Yeah, there's no like fucking German. Yeah, like, that's gonna. Oh, like, oh yeah, who's gonna get beat open us? against Sauce? Yeah, who's the gonna, fuck? Who's gonna beat us? Yeah, put Jalen Ramsey out there. Against I just some fucking like Scandinavian guy. I yeah break. right exactly. What do you, <laughs> you think the whites are gonna beat anyone from our country? <laughs> Come on, Finland. You think you have a chance? No way. Who is Finnish? You know. No one. I actually have read a lot about Finland, about it being like a great country. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think like that. Scandinavia also is like the healthiest people in the world, I think. Probably. And I think like a lot like, of saunas. They do love their saunas. Their Apparently bathhouses. that's a thing that's like, yeah. A big sauna guy. You know how I feel about saunas and steam. I house, like steam saunas rooms. too. Um, in my forever home one day, I want a sauna. I, I would say get both sauna and steam room. I don't really like the steam room. Oh, dude. 
it's the best. Why? It's way better. It just feel it opens you up more. It clears you out a lot quicker. It literally pulls out all the shit in your skin and blood. I mean, I'd rather get. I'm gonna get a cold plunge tub in the in the garage and then a sauna. Somewhere. You gonna buy a house? Or you gonna build a house? I don't know. That's a good one, right? It is. Buy the land, build it up. I thought about it. Probably. I don't really like houses. I've looked at houses in areas where I think I would maybe want to live. Where? And a lot of them are like, not old, like old, but old is the word. Yeah. <laughs> but like, that, that not because the they're old and decrepit, but they're like outdated. Like I like, you know. Oh yeah. I mean, I think there's a charm to certain like, you know. Yeah, but I don't want to live in like a little Harry Potter house or some shit. Um... Like the little miss who lived in a shoe. What was that? Little old lady who lived in a boot. There Would was a, there was a dumbass woman that lived in like some form of footwear. Yeah, like so, like she lived in a hat or a shoe. Yeah, or I think something. she was like a like a dwarf. Not like not. Whoa! whoa dude. Hold on! Hold on! Hold on! Like Dr. a hard like a, <laughs> like a uh, like a like a fairy tale. Like yeah, a like fairy a, or pixie or something yeah, like, like that. Yeah, a small little fuck. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Uh, and yeah, who's middle little Miss Tuffet? Who's that? She sat on a muffet. What's a muffet? No, little Miss Tuffet sat on a muffet and ate her dog's old stew or something like that. Ate her dog's old I don't, I don't, stew. I don't, don't don't quote me on that. Don't little quote me Miss on. Little Miss Tuffet fell in a bucket. Little Miss T- Middle Little Miss Muffet. Oh, sat on a tuffet? Yes. What's yes. a tuffet? Um Little Miss Muffet sat on her tuffet eating her curds and whey. Along came a spider who sat down beside her and frightened Miss Muffet away. What's a tuffet? Her butt? It's got to be her butt, right? Tuffet. Damn, that's a fat tuffet. Little, little, ain't nothing little about you, miss. There's a bar in Brooklyn called Tuffet. A, t- a tuft or a clump of something. What the? F- a clump of butt meat? A clump of, or a footstool or low seat. Oh, there shit, it is. not her ass then. That's why. Got it. Um, but I, I think the whole flag football thing is an awful idea. Why? I have such, like, I don't know why, but there is something so hysterical about me about grown men and women being so into, like, wreck sports. Frank, are you familiar with the all of the Olympics? But, like, like I, I the reason it came up was my brother, like, it, I joke about it a lot, is because my brothers once posted a picture, and it was their grown adult men softball team Mm -hmm. and it said hashtag more than softball and i i said to them i was like the joke is the obvious joke is that it's just softball it's not hashtag more than anything okay it's just hashtag just softball right and like the idea of like grown ass men like hitting a softball 300 feet and just like flexing and just be like fuck is so cringeworthy to me so, like, the idea that, like, now, like, people are going to go insanely hard for flag football mm-hmm. is hysterical. You don't like when people like stuff, do you? Don't! That's what you're doing. Don't! Some people you like softball, bitch! Don't! You, I, I... T- let me tell you something. Don't, Hold though. on. Don't, though. Because I, if anyone here... Hold on, hold on. If anyone here hold hates on. when people like something, it's fucking... You, bitch. Different. I hate when people, like, believe in things. That I hate. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, when people have beliefs, I don't like that. You also hate when people like something because you don't That's like it. That's not true. Yes, it is. No, it's not. I had a conversation this weekend with someone, and we agreed. You, If you know someone else likes something and you don't like it, you hate it. Wait, what? Yeah, bitch. It was about, we were talking about uh, extra dirty martinis. Oh, disgusting. No, they're not. Okay, fine. But that's how opinions work. No, fuck your opinion. <laughs> your opinion sucks. Yeah. But think about this. Think about Sunday mornings, right? Sunday morning rain is falling. <sighs> yeah, I yeah. had to. I'm sorry. You it's, can't say that. I know. It's it's tough. Go ahead. But just saying Sunday morning and like you know football is going to be on. Yes. Right? But in the morning you wake up and you don't travel too far. Nothing crazy. Yeah. But then you get to a softball field and you and your boys, you have a cup of beers and you hit a couple balls. Yeah, I think that's fine that's as long great. as you are as long as you have the awareness to know that like, oh, it's it's a fun game. The yeah. people that are just like, I'm fucking two-time softball league MVP. That's I'm good. I could do it. <laughs> like you're playing so- slow pitch softball with a ball that's basically a rubber sponge. You know I've never played softball. 
What did you say the other day that you've also never done? Oh, you've never had something from Starbucks. Never had Starbucks. You've before. never had uh, never played, played softball. Yeah, I just we can make know. that happen in one quick day. Get s- Starbucks and go play softball. Yeah, that sounds like a normal day for a I've lot of people. I played softball, and it's you know it's fun when you're taking it in as a good fun just game. But it's like fun when you're taking it, don't, <laughs> Joey. <laughs> but like the people that are like, this is like my fucking everything to me. Well. I mean, dude, I'm pissing off a ton of people right Probably, now. Probably, yeah. Probably. A lot of people who play Sunday morning sports. Josh was editing this. Yeah, Josh is pissed. <laughs> but Josh is a meathead, and he's bigger than me and will beat me up, so he's allowed to be. <laughs> I'm not offending him, you know? Yeah. I think the last time I saw him, I, like, gave him a hug, and he was like, when he hugged me, he was like, I can fucking put you in a Camaro right now. And I was just like, just uh, just say hi. Yeah, just don't do just that, Just don't please. do that. Um, also, I wanted to talk about the other thing. That you brought up, which I want to know more about. I don't know if you know more about it. I probably don't. But the one with the woman who wants to fuck a roller coaster? Yes. So No, not just fuck a roller coaster. Because we've talked about that before. It was mm-hmm. a dude. And a dude was fucking his car. I don't... Honestly, there was a guy fucking his car. People have been fucking roller coasters since... Well, yeah, a woman was kissing roller coasters. <laughs> yeah, she was like... <laughs> yeah. Like... <laughs> But she, but apparently this one was on. He, she's on a quest. To she's on a all mission. Of, she's on a mission. Not like the missions you went on as a kid, where you would go, you know, with your church and like those weird priests would undress you. I've never. I. <laughs> uh, uh, there is an anonymous anonymous redditor who is on a countrywide mission to have sex with every roller coaster, and mm. it's not what you think. What do you mean? Clickbait. Roll credits. I think it, I th- it's all cold <laughs> open. It's not what you think. Dun, dun. <laughs> it's over. Welcome back. Um, I think that here's what I think. She rubs her vagina all over them. No. So she gets in it and masturbates. No. So she spits on it. Let me, literally all you have to do is stop for a split second and I'll finish. She lubes up a part of it and just jerks it. Dude, can you imagine jerking? But then what is she jerking off? Like that's going to, that's scary for everybody. Imagine you're off the Hulk. Here's a real question. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That that is a real question. Yeah, it is. Mine is a little more real. Okay. If you're if you want to have sex with a roller coaster. Yeah. Are you having sex with like the structural base of this thing or the cars? Are the cars like a roller no. coaster? It's the structure, right? It's the structure. Because the cars, the cars are like sunglasses for us. It's an accessory. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. Jewelry, if you will. Glass. Well, think of it like glasses. Right. You can't see without the glasses. Put the glasses on, you can see. Roller coasters are nothing without its carts. Yeah. But it's still technically a roller coaster. Think about it. Yeah, exactly. Like if you put a roller coaster that had no cars, it's still a roller coaster. It's just missing some cars. It's just missing. It's not going to operate and function Car nearly as well. Car without a roller coaster, it's not a roller coaster. So it's the it's the coast. It's, it's the car that makes the coaster, not yeah. the coaster that makes the car. Yeah. Wait. Well, no. no hold on. That's backwards. Not, yeah, yeah. yeah it's the coaster not. that makes the car. Well, now I'm confused. It gives it meaning. It's frogs and toads. Don't even. <laughs> I did. Okay. And there's physically nothing you can do about it. Frankie, how does she do this? So, <laughs> well, stop asking like you were waiting for me to answer. You asked 30 questions in the... No, I was guessing of how she had sex at the roller coaster. She just gets on the roller coasters, and the thrill of the roller coaster brings her to climax and full fucking orgasm. So, like... So she just rides it. She just rides it. You know? And she gets... And she and comes? She, and she... Yeah. And she's on a mission, but she wants to stay anonymous because she doesn't want to make other people feel uncomfortable. Imagine Are if they're going to feel uncomfortable when you're, oh, yeah, but like people make weird noises on roller coasters all the time, dude. No one fucking orgasms, dude. Some people might. Some people go, whoa. You don't get that feeling in your stomach. Like it feels like your, your peep, you know, and I like butterflies. What was the peep? <laughs> what was peep? I, the reason I say, all right. So, um, there was, am I going to care about this? Probably not. <laughs> okay. There was, it's a quick story. When we were kids and we would drive to the lake house, my dad would take a back road. And when we'd be on the drive, my dad would say like, guys, which way you want me to go? My brothers and I would say the pee pee way. Because <laughs> what? what was the pee pee way? What's up and down? That's not pee pee. Why is that the pee pee way? There was a route. <laughs> you were about to say like pee pee. 
<laughs> He's about to say that like out loud. Like the fuck? Wait, so why was it pee pee? It was a root that like was like so like bendy, swervy, swervy, and double swervies. <laughs> <laughs> and hilly that there was always one hill that when you went over, you got like that butterfly in your stomach. But we always say like you feel it in your pee pee. My brothers and I. I don't feel any of that in my pee-pee. <laughs> I feel all of it like here. Yeah, well, we didn't understand. Like, oh my God, I felt that in my pee-pee. This is before there was like, you know, so we were kids, the, dude. Your dad's in the front seat going, oh, we're going the pee-pee way. Yeah, my Hold dad your is pee-pee. like, you want to go the orgasm way? Yeah. or <laughs> <laughs> Who wants to come? Huh? Back there. That's as we're, as we're listening to fucking Puddle of Mud. Yeah. Creed. <laughs> Oh, shit. Ah, I can't control you. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And you went the pee-pee way. And we went the pee-pee way. But that's uh, how she gets off on these roller coasters. That's crazy. So I have some questions for you. Yeah. You've been to Six Flags. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Well, episode over. Thanks for coming by. Thanks for coming by, guys. <laughs> See you later. That's all for, for now. But uh, wait. You've never been to Six you, We used to nah. go as kids. No, I never went. What? Yeah, I never went to Six Flags. Really? No. Okay. I've been to Splish Splash. All right. Have you been to any place that has a roller coaster? Yeah, like uh, Universal. Okay. Yeah. So you've been on roller coasters. Yeah. Have there ever been any that have never like, came, Frank? Never. <laughs> no, not not once. Never came. <laughs> never. Not even just like a little come. Not like a little like you th- like this could get you there. No, I just have fun. I yell a yeah. little bit. What What do you yell on roller coasters? Whoa, oh. <laughs> Which what's I the, guess. What's the difference? Yeah, I guess. What's the difference? Well, I, the difference is I'm not going to be drinking. That's the difference. A big difference. You know, that's the one. Um, yeah, no, never, never came on a roller coaster. Uh, Have there been any that like you think would actually do it? I remember you were telling me telling me that the Velocicoaster, coaster, the the new like Jurassic Park one, is pretty like. Yeah, I'm not coming on that though. I'm, my ticket, if anything, is like inverted. Like, <laughs> yeah, because it was it it's. A lot. Uh huh. There was a part where it was swing you back and forth in my neck. I was like, uh. Oh, you're such a fucking old bitch. Have fun. Frankie, you like said back to you and pulled your shoulder. <laughs> like, are you kidding me? I'm on a fucking coaster going a thousand. Listen, as someone that has been on uh, many roller coasters uh-huh. in two parks, uh, three, four, I guess. Yeah. El Toro can get you there. El Toro, you're going to like... King Daka? I could see why someone would feel like you're getting that King Daka. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Nitro. These are all Six Flags ones. Right. Boulder Dash at Lake Compounds in Connecticut. You haven't been there? No. Boy, that'll that'll have you feeling a certain way. The Wildcat, but it's a little rickety. That's like the old boomer. I don't like rickety shit. Yeah, it's a little scary. I don't know if it's there anymore. I haven't been in a long time. Are you afraid of things? Um, <laughs> yes, I, yes, I am. I meant like, would you get on those rides that like, you, they put you in like a little ball and they just shoot it? Without space? a doubt, I would do really? it. Really? I've done the, the, the sky coaster where, or bungee jumping, you know, thing where they put you in a harness and they bring you up like that. And then you let go and you fall and it catches you and you swing. Yeah. I don't know that I would do that. I've done that at, uh, I the, could be convinced. The one at Lake Compounds was tall and I went on with Steven and Patty and I was the one that had to pull because you have to pull your own thing, uh-huh. and I'd be like, "Am I gonna do? What am I? What am I gonna? What am I gonna?" And I'd fuck with them, and it's shit is fucking fun. Yeah, I've seen I've seen that, but like, and I also saw that thing. I don't know what it's called, but when they're just in the ball and they shoot you in the air. Yeah, all the videos of the people like passing out on that. Well, yeah. <laughs> my what they do now, and I don't know how you feel about this. I would get a kick out of it, but. They do like they like fuck with them now, so they'll be like, "Oh, you're not strapped in. If you don't strap, like go tighter, you're gonna fall out." And they'll be like, "What?" And as they look down, to be like, "Huh?" They fucking yeah yeah f- send them flying. I've seen that. Yeah, that That's shit funny. is crazy. Every time I see one of those videos now, it's either someone passing out or a girl with huge tits. Oh, I I don't think I've seen the tit ones. I've seen the passing out ones quite a bit. I've seen yeah, those are always fun because they come to and they're like, "I'm in this guy," well, or it's a girl with like. They're getting launched up, so it's like normal, and then all of a sudden she's on her way down, and her tit just fucking just like, tears drop out. Yeah, well, I don't know that they're out. They're just like, holy hell, and that's the whole video. Yeah, that's like, the whole, right. yeah, and then and then you come, and then you're done watching the video. 
right? <laughs> no, that's not what happens. Fucking freak. We do have ads, though, to be honest with you. Yeah, I bet we do. We do have ads mm-hmm. here. Um, we have rocket money. Listen, guys, are you bad with money? Props. Because you're probably paying for things that you don't even know you're paying for. And Rocket Money is going to help you identify those unwanted subscriptions that you signed up for a year ago and have been paying for out of pocket since then, and you don't even use it, okay? Rocket Money is an all-in-one personal finance app that's not only going to cancel those unwanted subscriptions, but they're also going to help you budget. Because like you said, because like I said earlier, you're probably a little bad with money. Uh, and it also can help you lower your bills. So all these things happening in one simple app. And it is great. And people are saving, on average, $720 a year, okay? And over 3 million people have used Rocket Money, on average, saving people $720 a year. So, like I said, a lot of people, they've signed up for stuff you don't even know. Um, And Rocket Money is going to help you identify those things and put money back in your pocket. $720 a year? I'll take it. Uh, But, yeah. So, right now, you can stop throwing away your money, cancel on one subscriptions, and manage your expenses the easy way by going to rocketmoney.com slash basement. That is rocketmoney.com slash basement. And you might as well because, I mean, just be curious. Let's see if you're, uh, you know, financially responsible or not. Uh, If you got nothing that you're overpaying for, perfect. But if you are, there you go. I just saved you some money. So, again, rocketmoney.com slash basement. Get to it, folks. Uh, And lastly here, we have ZocDoc. ZocDoc is the only free app that lets you find and book doctors who are patient-reviewed, take your insurance, are available when you need them, and treat almost every condition under the sun. ZocDoc is amazing, especially for people uh, who, you know, the only time that you went to the doctor is when your mom would bring you, and now, like, your mom's not doing that anymore, and you're like, I don't know what to do. You have your insurance, you look it up with ZocDoc, you see who takes it, and you hit boom, you hit search, you find a bunch of doctors in your area, and you will find their next available appointment. And a lot of these doctors, you can get seen within 24 hours. And it's not just primary care physicians, it's a bunch of other uh, doctors, some specialists and stuff and whatnot. Um, but it's nice, because you'll know exactly who's taking your insurance and which doctors you can go to. And you know, and like I said, they're patient reviewed, uh, which is great because you know, patients have no reason to lie. So if they are highly rated, I believe it's out of five, then you know I'm going to a good doctor, You know quickly and uh you know they take my insurance so it's great uh you can go to zocdoc.com slash basement and download the zocdoc app for free and then find and book a top rated doctor today uh many are available within 24 hours and that is spelled zocdoc.com slash basement okay zocdoc.com slash basement and uh yeah go get yourself a nice little doctor folks all right why'd you look at me like a proud father i'm very proud of you are you? Yes. Okay. Um, what else did we have today? I forget. Oh! There's a TikToker who doesn't wipe her ass? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't well, want to say her name, but I feel bad. But, well, yeah, so... I, clearly she doesn't. She fucking posted about it on Yeah, TikTok. well, you know, we're not going to post... We're not going to promote her because this isn't free. We just read ads. Come on. <laughs> um, but, yes, correct. So there is a TikToker uh, who... Uh, she, she is a comedian, but... Um, she says uh, she actually doesn't wipe her ass mm-hmm. uh, because she believes that uh, God did not give us an ass worth wiping. You know, basically saying like no anim- no other a- human, no other animal wipes their butt, so why should we? Interesting though. No. No. Interesting. No. But but think every about other this. no other no other animal has an ass quite like mine, bro. <laughs> but think about this, right? My dog. Yes. Fluffy. Yeah, but you, but it's assholes in the in the wind, dude. But not all the time. It doesn't need. Yes, it is. It doesn't. No, sometimes he's. Get, your he's, dog doesn't have cheeks, dude. Your dog has no cheeks, none. Your dog is built like a fucking plank of wood. His asshole. He walks in this room right now. I could I can make eye contact with his asshole. Yeah, because he just got groomed. This is a big asshole episode. It's not. Yeah, the whole thing is butts. <laughs> she should be called the butthole show. This is why you don't title the episode. He is right. He is very right about that. (laughs) No, but uh, it is interesting because I'm like, there's only been a few times where I'm like, all right, I got to like pull a poop out of Charlie's butt. Pull? Pull. Oh, you've told this. This sucks. But like, for the most part, he's taking dumps and like, there's no residue. There's nothing. Isn't that kind of crazy? Yeah, but that's because his butt is made like that. Like, our... Think... What other animal... the same Ser- butt. No, we don't, dude. Our butthole is behind a fucking castle wall of cheeks. But, Frank, when you sit down to... Dude, yeah. It opens. 
Yeah, because you sit on something and your asshole goes lower than the seat and it moves your cheeks right, out of the right, way. Right. Yeah. So then it's so then at that moment it's the same. No, it's not though, because there's still there's still like the moment you like there's more there's more to navigate through there. Dude, you know I wish I had a dog's butt. Are you kidding me? You wish you had a dog's butt? Just like it would be way easier. What about nipples? Hmm. Give me gorilla nipples. You want long gorilla nipples? I've seen a gorilla like pull their nipple like hard, dude. Actually, no. Yeah, you're right. I'm. I'm I don't want any nipples. Fucking can't take, be nippleless. Take them off. Yeah. What do I need them for? Like visual reasons. Visual what? If you were walking around to like on vacation or at the beach or something, and like this, there's a dude with no nipples. If I was just like around. Kyle XY in it, and I had like no belly button, no nipples, I'd be fine with that. Don't need either of those things. Really? Yeah. Why? I don't know. You you like it because you like your nipples. You like nipple play. I like nipple play. Dude, we've gotten enough packages of fucking like <laughs> nipple clamps and nipple electrocutors that like electrocutors. Yeah. I've never seen that. You definitely have. That I know. Like, it's not a. It, I don't like my nipples being like pulled. But just because they have been. Before, yeah. Oh, there it is, folks. But just because they have been doesn't mean that I like. You've done things that you don't necessarily do all the time. Yeah, but if I don't do them, it's because I don't like them. Right. If I, they've, I'm saying, if they've happened multiple times, it's because there's a smidge. A, a Who smidge. said multiple times? How many times? How many times what? How many times have your nipples been pu- pulled and played with? Honestly, yeah. See, exactly. Not, yeah, no, no, my no. point exactly. But not your big a, nipple not play boy. Re- no, not in a real manner, like a joking manner. Who joking? Oh, is it, these are the same people that sucked on your nipples jokingly. Joey, we rediscovered in an episode recently that Joey likes when his nipples get sucked. That's not and true. now played with. That's dude. not what I said. You said it was a playful thing where someone sucked on your nipples. No mouth <laughs> suction around your nipples, Frankie. First of all, I don't know what to say. <laughs> <laughs> I got him, folks. No, you don't have him. I got him. You don't have him. I, I am free from you. Gotcha. You don't. Gotcha. I'm over here, though. No. You don't have me. No. I, f- I figured out how to stump you, and it's by revealing to the world that you're a big fucking nipple playboy. I'm not, though. You've had someone suck on them, play with them. <laughs> What's next? Most people have, Frank. Oh, to, I thought you meant to you. I was going to say, why not me? <laughs> Wait, most people have what? I thought you meant like most people have played with my nipples. And oh, I was going to no, say, oh, no, I haven't. No, what no, the fuck no. am I not in this cool party? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm saying like most people have had their nipples touched before. Touched. Yes, some people have touched Someone's my nipples. Someone's pulled your nipples before. Yes, not pumped about it. Who said I was pumped? You did. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. Dude. I said it has happened. You're like, you love it. Yeah, you do because you also had someone suck on them. No one's ever. Yes, 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 I got him. No. Look at his face. He's blushing. No. Yeah. I have to fart. Do it. No. Please. Oh, speaking of farting, <laughs> that's so funny that we brought that up. I got a DM the other day, and I screenshot because it, it was funny. It said, "I'm gonna shoot my shot. I just saw a clip of the basement yard, and you farted. My kind of guy. What? If you ever find yourself in Chicago, let me know." For what? Farts? A big fart time. A what? Fart time. Yeah, like, what are we talking about here? You want me to blow farts on you? What's going on? <laughs> a big fart time. Yeah. Well, you just fart. Like you farted. My kind of guy. My kind of guy. The, that's the that's standard. That's the standard, yeah. <laughs> yeah right. Oh, you... I like a guy who farts. I'm a big <laughs> fart guy, dude. <laughs> yeah. Oh, then I guess I am very much not this person's kind of guy. Yeah, you don't fart. Imagine being like, can, so like you're you like. You fart when no one's around? Of of course everyone farts, Joey. Yeah, but you like. But I'm not fart. like making like a show of it like you do. I know you do. Make I know show. you do. You do make a show of it. I'm not. Listen, the fact that my body makes gas, it's not my fault. I know it's not your fault, but what you do with it, is definitely your fault. What would you have me do? Just I let can't. it. Just just make it be normal. If it's loud or something, you apologize to the room. If it stinks, <laughs> you deny it. <laughs> A picture of Frankie farting by himself and going, apologize. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> Apologies. He, he fucking says sorry to his action figures. Sorry. Sorry. Uh, 
Fucking Superman. This is, first of all, <laughs> all right, now, this is getting out of hand. <laughs> oh, I didn't know you were there, He-Man. Fuck uh, out First here. of all, <laughs> a little before our time, He-Man. Don't you have, have any, He-Man. I don't have any He-Man. No? No, none. I swore the last time I was there, I, was, I saw a He-Man. I promise you, I, I have none. No, I believe you. I, hope, I, I know that Zero. you have an inventory. Zero. You might be confusing my small soldiers. No, I, rem- I know them. You know, you know exactly. Those are cool. Those I wouldn't fart in front of, no. Thank God. <laughs> Who's the one with the eye and like the crazy hair? Um, he spins. Oh, Insaniac. That's it. You know what's funny? Is yeah. I pitched a Patreon episode for you and I recently where I said I have to ask you questions. One of those questions was, what's this guy? And it was going to be him. Really? I swear, <laughs> I swear to God. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, pick a different one because I don't know anyone's 100%. name. 100%. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Um, yeah. No, I, fuck you. I don't. I, Wait, what? Don't. Why do you immediately have to take shots at my fucking toy collecting? It's all I got. It is. At it least isn't. you're aware it of isn't, it. It isn't, but it's the fun one. At, at least you're aware of it. Yeah. So now you're just. You read a DM here. You're opening yourself to more crazy DMs. Well, I don't want to be far. I don't. Don't send me DMs. Hey, what would you do if that per, if you actually took that person up? Like, all right, yeah, I'll be in Chicago this week. Let's. What do you want to do? <laughs> I'm, I'm. I'll save up a big fart. For I'll you. fucking let's let's fart together. <laughs> together, let's meet up and just set it off. Just <laughs> fart meet up. <laughs> Good while it lasted, folks. It was fun, 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 Bro, fun time while it lasted. That just reminded me. One time. I almost crashed my car. I was in the car with Keith. Driving, and he's just like in one of these moods where he's like making jo- it's like whatever mm-hmm. nothing's landing, and we're out. It's just like I'm just not laughing, but he's like laughing at the fact that I'm not laughing, and then we pull up on the street, and there's like four buses in a row, just like on the sidewalk, like parked for some reason, and Keith just goes, "Hmm, bus party? Lost my <laughs> fucking mind, dude." He just went, "Hmm, bus party." And I was I fucking threw my head back. I was like, God, these jokes suck. Yeah. And then bus party. I but but dying. but they work. Yeah. Hmm. Bus party? <laughs> it's like the fuck? Um, but I, it's crazy that I actually got that question that I like, you know. You pick that one out of all of them. Yeah, yeah, that is crazy. Yeah. Small soldiers, good movie. Great movie. I wish my toys would come alive even though i don't really have any anymore yeah first of all your toys now are like fucking your rolex and stuff and i can only imagine what it would say first of all watches don't talk in any movie um oh beauty and the beast does that's a a clock i was gonna say that's not a watch true i don't think watches were invented at that point in time really yeah that sounded like i farted why did your (laughs) elbow just fart so loud No. I think you just wanted to flex your arm, dude. No, if I wanted to flex, I would. You're the big flexer. Do it, do it, do it. Oh, you're shy now? Flex your arm. That was just you twirling your wrists. Something like that? Ew, why did you say, <laughs> did you say that like that? I don't like that. Did you just call me dad? No, I said, do you like that? No. No, not one bit. Not one bit, dude. All right, come on. Anyway, yeah, yeah. Let's get out of here, Frank. F Alvarez eight eighty five on Twitter. D Frank Alvarez and all the forms of social media. Go check out the Patreon, patreoncom slash yard. Thank you for getting us over twenty six. We got some fun stuff coming your way exclusively for our patrons. So get us twenty seven, and maybe you'll see Joey naked. Probably not. Maybe probably definitely will. And uh, then you can follow the Basement Yard at all forms of social media. Go check it out. Appreciate it, Joey. Oh, that was not okay. Uh, yeah, go follow me at Joe Sanagato and go follow the show at uh, the Basement Yard on TikTok and Instagram. I already said that. And uh, if you want some merch, we have some Halloween exclusive merch. Oh. Uh, and if you're a patron, you also get uh, a promo code for the first seven days. I believe it's fifteen percent off, fifteen or twenty percent off, something like that. Uh, but yeah, so another reason to sign up for the Patreon. Uh, but yeah, go to shop.sanagatastudios.com for that. And that is all. Show us your nipples. We're not showing anyone nipples. Show your nipples. Uh, why would I ever do that? You've showed your nipples. Have I? I think so. Uh, sorry. They're not sweet. If they were cooler, you'd show them? 100%, dude. <laughs> 100%. There's nothing wrong with your nipples. They suck. Bye, guys. All right.